So then, we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Itzayelic lineage. So then, we can understand the time of the end, as per Yerushiahu the prophet. We find then layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Aurum Feast, and also the returning of the Messiah and his holy cities. So then, we can understand the time of the end. So then, as many months, and in fact, for quite many months of this year and last year, these understandings then were on standby. Reasons because of trips, of many other situations regarding then the time of the restoration period, where then the Mashiach obviously is the very center focus because he did already completed the spring feast. So then what's going on in the world as far as the returning of the cities of the Mashiach laid the waste for many centuries? What is then going on as far as, as the northern section of Africa being then the very focused point where then Yerushiahu the prophet gave the understanding in the 61st chapter of Yerushiahu? Why then these situations are so relevant today? We find then a couple of understandings as far as, as these layers. These layers are obviously found in Vaikra. If you don't understand then the Hebraic portion of it, it's very important learning Hebrew because the prophets of those times were then from the Hebraic lineage. So why then are we studying these prophecies these days in a world where then society has so far away from the holy instructions? There are a couple of understandings as far as, as salvation and the Savior. The Savior obviously can be the famous JC, or can be the truly Mashiach found in the Hebraic scriptures. One of them is seriously taking care of uh, his people, because the holy cities must return, as per the Yeshiahu chapter 1-8. So then, why do we observe so intently as far as, as what the Messiah is doing and most importantly the thousand years of deceit has then ended. How do we find this information? How do we go about understanding these situations? So then having a proper copy of the holy instructions then obviously can give us some understanding why then these instructions are so relevant. What's going on then in the news? Well, as far as, as we can understand, the cities of the Mashiach laid a waste for many centuries. Obviously, most of them were in modern Turkey. We know that it was then, back then, during the time of Paul, was obviously then Asia Minor. So why then people are so much desiring the desires of the flesh, and pointing fingers on people rather than studying the scripture themselves. Obviously the New Testament as many people understand from the Hebraic understanding from the Hebraic history from the Hebraic Torah and the prophets we find simply the spring feast was completed. Why then? These prophets then are read why these prophets then are respected and why then so many denominations they try to find fault in someone else's lives rather than themselves bringing understanding and teaching because people in the world even though they have the false Mashiach they don't understand they have nothing to give as far as, as understanding of the scripture that's the main reason why and because people, they can't read the holy instructions, they can't teach. If they can't teach, then they destroy. Not only their own lives are wasted, but they want to waste the life of others. So why then 
today as far as this church system why so many people then they go to those places and they never learn what then the holy Mashiach is trying to say why they act so holy during a couple of days or a day and then the rest of them they are absolutely destroyers as they go along on their work and their social lives how they socialize why they don't then they get together and then pray and then bring some instructions to other people oh the Mashiach was very specific as far as this, those people who are saved those people who are saved they then produce fruit what does it mean then producing fruit some people they think only the direction of the response is producing fruit but the Mashiach was very specific so as Shaul known as Paul he said imitate him as he was imitating the Mashiach or the Savior why so many people didn't do and obviously they do not let's then start our understanding of today reading then a portion of the holy instructions related in with the producing of fruit why should the people then produce tenfold sixtyfold a hundredfold why then should we read and understand and bring then teachings most people are criticizers they only from afar from people's backs they talk and they talk and then destroy other people's lives because when they observe their own lives they have nothing to give as far as instructions let's then verify why the machine spoke in parables why then for instance you find some sections in Luke you find some sections in Mark even John why then these people that are always after the Mashiach to destroy him well, the situation is very clear the Mashiach himself was then a person involved with the spirit he was bringing the understanding of the spirit but people want to use for their own benefit for their own desires of the flesh let's understand then a few sections of titles for instance Timothy for instance why do they say so much as far as is not given to desires of the flesh because to satisfy the desires of the flesh is destruction however the spirit vivify so then these days where people they point fingers at each other and they do not bring in studies let's then understand as far as, as the prophecies what is awaiting this world what is awaiting then as far as, as the apocalypse or revelation is then every soul are going to be saved no unfortunately the great majority of the world is absolutely lost so then as far as, as what then John 316 states and because the Mashiach came to save the world and because he loved the world so much he came to save and then some people they think they have their souls saved some they are confused because they think of their spirits they don't even know the distinction from spirit and soul are their soul truly saved most of them are not so then where do we find in the scripture sections where it can give us a few understandings of these the Mashiach then was talking as far as it's producing fruit that he was speaking of the time where then these people were gathering and then he was talking about the soil when the soil is very fertile and then obviously when it's springtime when it obviously is a time of harvest for instance some of the soil when they are properly planted 
they can produce tenfold, some of them sixty, some of them a hundred. What causes then these soils to be so distinct from one to another? It's simply what they hear and what they practice. The Mashiach himself was saying when the word, what's the word the Mashiach was speaking was the Torah. There was no New Testament writings at this point in time. He was talking of the Torah. He was talking of the prophets. He was talking of the writings. He was talking of the Tanakh. Precisely this is what the Mashiach was saying. J.C. was not around until 325 years later. This name didn't even exist. So the understandings were very clear as far as this. if you understand the Torah, you can produce fruit. This is what the Mashiach is saying. Does it mean that later on, 325 years later, the people would not produce fruit? Well, as much as you can understand and gather people to study in your house, then you can answer yourself, engage yourself as you do so. So then what the Mashiach is saying is this. The scripture obviously vivifies and brings the understanding of the spirit. The flesh, however, brings death. Because the desires of the flesh is truly death. Now understanding the prophecies. What should we understand as far as, as the prophecies? Oh, we are doing the time where then the cities of the Mashiach are returning. We understand where then the prophet stated then the first seed was going to be at. We understand that the world system of trade is also changing. Very radical. Where do we find the answers? Can we understand these answers? Why was the Mashiach so concerned of people producing fruit? Because he knew that the foundation of the Spirit is the Torah. There is no other way of understanding the Spirit save from the Torah. So what is the Torah then? What are the instructions? Does it not Paul say the foundation of the apostles and prophets is related with the Torah? So then, producing fruit. What is the most important of producing fruit? Knowledge of the Torah? Knowledge of the prophets? Knowledge of the holy instructions? As far as giving these, how do we give to other people? So let me ask you a question. As far as this, when you gather up in your churches, when you return from your church, what can you write after you sit around for so long listening to your pastor? Or you are always expecting to criticize other people and not being criticized yourself? He's criticizing others producing fruit. Criticism is not from the Torah. Encouragement, reading the Torah, then is another situation. People are always prone of criticizing, pointing fingers, and destroying because they have no life in them. If they have no life to give, obviously what's living in them is evil. A person can be nice, but a person is evil without the holy instructions. The Mashiach. Why the Mashiach were so loved? Why the Mashiach were so hated? Producing fruit. So then, these days we find a few sections of Daniel the prophet. Daniel was very specific, stating what was going on in the world many years in advance. Daniel knew 
that those people understanding the Torah would understand then the apocalypse and the time of the end. Daniel then, obviously he was working under the first king of the statue that he saw. Because the nation, the holy nation, did not obey the holy instructions. Obviously they were in exile for many years. Is as Daniel obviously he saw that the nation was destroyed then the people his own very people thought the world had ended because there was no more temple no more tabernacle however the eternal had his hands upon the situation and he decided reveal himself to Daniel and his companions Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and Daniel then was selected to work in the king's court and the favor of the eternal was upon his life he was able to understand who was then his position in his kingdom as far as, as the person he was working under and the other kings, Darius, the Mede, Cyrus. Now if you are a person that you read the Bible were religious but then ignorant of history, they must understand both. Danny was then very specific when he was talking about the future trade of the world. In fact, when the Mashiach was born, his descendants were obviously aware of the star and then obviously when it did when the proper time came these people descendants from Daniel were able to give to the family of the Mashiach for his escape So then, what can we read as far as Daniel? What's going on in the world? Obviously, you find there is the first son of Abraham, and there is the second son of Abraham. Is the second son more important than the first? Is the first son more important than the second? Or are they not both of them important? Or there is half of the anointing in each. As far as is Yerushiahu or Isaiah, what does it say in the 23rd chapter of Isaiah? What does it say in the 62nd chapter of Isaiah? What does it say as far as the restoration of the golden turban? What does it mean? Why then Ishmael were so prominent even during the time of Joseph when he was sold into slavery? Was he not sold into the caravan of the Ishmaelites? So then, let's make sure these understandings then are making a reference of the Torah and the prophets so we can start studying from the enlightenment of the Mashiach, the Hebrew Mashiach because the JC, most people that believe in him, they are always criticizing most of the time pointing fingers finding fault in someone else's lives And obviously from the viewpoint of the Mashiach, he said, if we don't produce fruit, at the end of the times, those people, though they know the truth, they don't produce fruit, they are burned with the others. Those were the words of the Mashiach. Please stay tuned. Next time I'm going to evaluate more the life of the Mashiach and what's going on in this world as far as this trade and as far as... Tabernacling. 
Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.